I always said I'd portray reality in these vlogs and that's what I'm doing and that's why I'm sat here looking like this talking to you guys but this is part and parcel of it so anyway let's crack on Hey guys, so basically what has been going on since the last vlog, which is probably about between when I took the last shot of the last vlog to now, it's probably been about 40 minutes. Um, and I went and looked at my mark and it was 63 and I was last and I literally felt awful like really bad it's it's hard to describe well i mean if you've put like your whole life into something and then it doesn't go quite to plan of course it's going to be really hard and i put i've put so much into it and that's fine like i know ups and downs are going to come but it doesn't make it any easier at the time and i know that i'll be fine like i'm i'm feeling better about it already I know that I'll be fine but like at the time it's so hard um like I put so many expectations on myself as well like the things that go through my head it's like I feel like embarrassed I feel awful I feel like I've let people down I feel like I've let my mum down I feel like I've let everyone who um works with us down I feel like I let the horses down um it's hard and then it's harder as well vlogging it um it's great when it goes well but when it doesn't it's very tough to sit here and talk about it but <sighs> man up to make it worse um afterwards i really try to i was fine before i saw my mark um i knew i was gonna get quite severe marks for certain movements um and i got like twos and stuff which from three judges it adds up to be quite a lot um but then the worst the worst thing for me is i came back here and i'm trying to like digest it and i'm trying to like think about it in a solution focused mind and then it's really hard when you are doing it with a parent or someone that you're very close to because obviously like they say things in the heat of the moment you say things in the heat of the moment and then you just say things that you don't mean and i always take what mum says very like critical after a test um and it's kind of like makes me feel worse but I know she's only saying it to help me. I know that. But at the time, I like, I just, it really upsets me. So um, we had an argument. Um, and now she's gone home, which I can understand why she has because she put so much effort into it as well. And it's upsetting for her too. And yeah, I just said things that. I didn't mean and she said things she didn't mean but then it all just got too much and then she was like I'm just going so I was like fine being stubborn and she's gone and I know I'll be fine on my own that's not what I'm worried about it's more the fact that I just feel really bad now um and I'm sorry <laughs> um but it will be fine because I'll apologise and we can work through it because we have before. And I know it's just because she's upset as well. Um, but anyway, so I'm here on my own. I'm going to ask someone to film my tests. I'm going to go and get on Wilf now and do the PSG. It's not even that bad. I can guarantee in like an hour I'll be like, calm down. Um, 
it's just that it's that emotion isn't it it gets quite a lot when you when you've worked hard for something but such is life and we will learn from this and we will move forwards because i always do um so yeah i always said i'd portray reality in these vlogs and that's what i'm doing and that's why i'm sat here looking like this talking to you guys but this is part and parcel of it so anyway let's crack on Look who came back. <laughs> We've made up again. Come here. Yeah. She's crying so she doesn't want to. Yeah, just that. Why? Emotion's a good thing. Why am I This is a working mother daughter relationship. It's just one shit test. It's just one shit test. <laughs> Do you know what did it? She said I should have got a three for my hole. <laughs> and I cried. Well, maybe 5.5 5 is a bit generous. <laughs> did you not think? <gasps> we were just disappointed. <laughs> enough to ride it. Most people don't reach their dream, not because of failure. Most people don't live their dream because they give up. You see, it's not the failure that stops us, but that most stop at their first failure.
So Wilf has been, and he was actually quite good for Wilf. Um, he was really excited in the camp to half pass, and he did a change coming out of his first pirouette, which the pirouette was really good, but because he did a change, he'll have got a really low mark, and it's a double mark, so that's annoying. Um, but actually, he was really good for him in because uh, he hates summer house hates it hates it hates it so he was really good he got 64.9 so and he made a mistake in his changes so he had like three big mistakes so that's not bad um now i'm gonna go and get an eagle and go again
all got 70% which is really good uh, it was a good test um, the balance could have been a little bit better but apart from that it was good so anyway it was nice that we had a good finish um, we're now packing up to go home and then we are back tomorrow to do the medium um, but I'll talk to you guys when we get home and yeah <laughs> We're still vlogging. It's a miracle. It's a miracle. Huh? I know, right? It's a miracle. Oh. <laughs> it's not as good as last time. Uh. <laughs> so we are home now and the boys are all settled in bed. And I think it'll be a good time to do a review of the day. So you guys have been on the roller coaster of emotions I have felt today and it's really funny like watching it back how you, I kind of some in some ways feel a bit embarrassed I'm like calm down but that is why I like showing you guys like the ups and the downs the reality of it because I really want people to know if they're going through the same thing that it's completely normal and it's fine to feel emotional about something that you care about so much um so that is kind of why I show you guys that side. It is tough to do, um, but it's definitely worth it. And someone actually who follows the vlogs came to take pictures, thank you very much. And I'm really sorry I didn't get to have a chat with you. Mum said you were lovely. Um, came to see some pictures and she was saying to mum that it really helps how honest I am. So that is why I keep doing it and it makes it all worthwhile. Even like the tough times of like, you know, I was saying today, when it doesn't go particularly well, it is hard to talk about it sometimes, um, but I know it's normal. So I watched all three tests on the way home and I'm feeling a lot more positive about it um, and I'm putting it into perspective, which is good. So the first test, I was happy with it. I would say the only thing I would want to improve would be the balance in the canter and that's the reason I didn't get the changes on the serpentine um, and his half passes went uphill enough because he wasn't coming from behind enough, he wasn't in good enough balance. Um, and I think that's because I've known the regionals coming up so I've backed off doing the PSG stuff which has actually really been helping to improve his balance um, but that's a lesson learned and that's something that I can look up in the warm up tomorrow um, and then Wilf's test I'm so happy with I'm so happy with how I rode him in the warm up because he was hot 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 how he normally is um, but I rode him really really well I stayed in my seat and sometimes what happens when he's hot I get a little where I'm trying to I pull back a little bit because I'm trying to steady him up but what I really focused on today was holding him on my seat and giving him my hand to let his neck come out more and this really helps him to relax more um, he doesn't feel as trapped so he feels a lot more relaxed and a lot happier so I was really happy with warm-up and then um, I went into the test and he was really really hot again um, but I'm really happy with how I managed it and all the judges did comment uh, well managed um, and they also picked up that he's very talented he's just got a lot of energy um, but summer house is literally wilf's nemesis of an arena every time i've taken him in there he has properly blown up i mean like really really blown up so i'm just really happy that i got him through the test the mistakes were just little things that kind of got away from me but they have big um, consequences on the marks because for example he did a change after his canter pirouette which is a double mark so the judges have all written like sevens and eights and then crossed it out and put a four um, and that's a double mark from three judges so that is very expensive his half pass he did get excited in he had one mistake in his changes so you know it's all expensive and he's still got a 64.9 so i'm really chuffed with how i rode him um, and how he went and then in Eagle's music, we got 70% and he came third. So he just missed out qualifying. But I prefer that than like not being anywhere near qualifying. Um, again, I would say it was just the balance. Um, Eagle's balance is a very fragile thing because he's naturally built on the forehand. Um, and sometimes we're going through periods of time where it's really good. Sometimes it's not so good. And we're just in one of those moments where he's not quite 
on his hind leg enough, but um, I'm gonna learn from it, grow from it. I'm gonna try and improve it for the medium tomorrow. Uh, but yeah, that is basically how it is. I feel back on back on form again. Um, yeah, after my little emotional roller coaster day, I do feel very tired from it. But I think like when you very emotional about things, it does drain you. But um, I'm going to go and now see my friend because we're meant to be finding a holiday to go on at the end of the year. So that'll be nice. Go and see her. Go and chill. And then we're gonna gear up for tomorrow. Um, but that is the end of the vlog, guys. I hope you've enjoyed it. I know it's been a very deep, real one. Um, I'm a little bit nervous to put this one out, but I'm going to. Uh, so yeah, let me know what you think, and I'll see you for the next one.